Hi everyone, I'm Dana Ponsky, your guide to college, and welcome to Being Jewish in College's new video series, Kibbutz in 10 Minutes. Today, you're gonna to hear 10 minutes of valuable information from Shelby Brusiloff, who is the Director of Jewish Life for the Hillel Campus Alliance of Michigan. Thank you so much for joining us today, Shelby. Thank you for having me, Dana, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So to kick this off, my first question is, um, which is, I know, a little more complicated of a question in the way we're doing this, but what is the name of the Jewish centers on campus for the campuses that you work with? Great. So um, our organization is the Hillel Campus Alliance of Michigan, and we have our campuses really in two different categories. So the first is our core core campuses, which I'll be focusing on in this video. And our core campuses are Hillel at Central Michigan University, Hillel at Eastern Michigan University, Hillel at Grand Valley State University, Hillel at Kalamazoo College, and Hillel at Western Michigan University. Okay. I'm just like, I'm being going to be very impressed how we're going to get through this. So I'm looking forward to hearing about all of them. So um, how many Jewish students approximately are on either each campus or if there's a, if, if they collectively have a number? Um, what is the number of Jewish students and what is the breakdown? So are there any campuses that have a, strong, a larger number of secular, reform, conservative, orthodox, humanistic, or reconstructionist, or any identifiers really that our diverse community um, entails? And how is that broken down? Yeah, so I would say for our core campuses, we estimate there's between 150 and 400 Jewish students on each of our campuses. And the makeup of those campuses in terms of our Jewish population really looks the same. I would say the majority are secular and reform with some students being conservative and modern Orthodox. Wonderful. And on these campuses, are there kosher food options available to students? And if so, what are they? So while there are no kosher food options available to students on campus, um, we at the Hill Campus Alliance of Michigan are always happy to help connect students so that they're able to find kosher food near them, or if we are able to bring it to them, we are happy to do so. Wonderful. And are, do the campuses provide weekly Shabbat dinners or gathering opportunities for students? At our core campuses, uh, they do Shabbat dinners pretty regularly regularly, typically every other week. Um, and these are hosted on our, sorry, in the student unions on each of our campuses. Um, but sometimes students want to host Shabbat dinners at their homes with their friends, or they'll open up their home to their entire Hillel. Um, what's really special is Shabbat is something that our Hillel student leaders, that they get to plan on their own um, and to create these traditions as college students are so that when they graduate, they're able to take that tradition with them and feel confident doing so when they become a young adult. Wonderful. Um, so on any of the campuses, are there Jewish studies majors or minors or are Hebrew language courses available to students, whether through Hillel or on the campus? Yes, so at Eastern Michigan University and Kalamazoo College, they both have Jewish studies programs. Um, Eastern has a Jewish studies minor um, and they sometimes offer Hebrew, um, depending on the year. Kalamazoo College has a Jewish studies concentration, as well as three different Hebrew classes. As for our other core campuses, um, Grand Valley, Central Michigan, and Western Michigan, um, sometimes they offer courses on Judaism, really depends on the year. Wonderful. So can you talk a little bit about the political or social climate or social justice climate on the campuses? In particular, any issues that might come up in regards to BDS, anti-Semitism, anti-Israel, Zionism, anything like that. And um, if there are incidences, how have the university's administrations or college administrations handled that? Yeah, so um, over the past few years, um, we haven't seen any major anti-Semitic incidents on our campuses. Um, this isn't to say that that won't happen, um, but we have not been seeing it. We've been doing a really fantastic job of working with university administrators when an incident does occur so that we're able to come up with ways uh, to be more proactive in the future, uh, which can include educational programs on our campuses about Judaism, um, just this past year, we brought in a Holocaust survivor to speak virtually to our campuses, which was a wonderful program, um, but we're really being proactive in this. 
We have not had any BDS campaigns on any of our core campuses, knock on wood, that this doesn't occur. Again, can't say it won't occur in the future, but we're working really closely with universities to try to make sure this does not happen. Wonderful. Um, so one of the next questions I have is for a student who is a Jewish student who might be coming to any of the campuses, um, what challenges might they face being a Jewish student um, on any of the individual campuses, or is it just the challenge of any new student going to a universe, a new university? I would say the greatest challenges for or the greatest challenge for our Jewish students on our for campuses is that they're going into an environment where many of their peers have never met somebody who's Jewish or doesn't know a lot about Judaism. And so we find that our students um, sometimes are in the educator role. Um, and we try to do that through Hillel as well, recognizing like this is the environment that our students are in. But a lot of times their new friends are coming to them like in a place, uh, in a place of curiosity and wanting to better understand their friend. Um, but I would say that's the greatest challenge is finding students are finding themselves more in an educator role than they might've been used to um, in high school. Okay. Um, what is on the campuses, what are the most popular or well-attended programs um, that students really enjoy participating in? Uh, so, right, we, our network has 10 different campuses. Um, and while I am focusing on the five, I really wanna highlight, we do, it's called our HCAM Winter Retreat and we get a rental home. We typically do it in Saugatuck, Michigan, mm -hmm. um, which is like a beautiful beach town, um, but we do it in January and we gather about 40 students from all over the state of Michigan to come to this home, learn together in cohorts, in big groups, get to know their Jewish peers from around the state of Michigan, um, celebrate Shabbat and Havdalah together. It is such an incredible program that all of our students from all of our campuses truly look forward to. So that's definitely our big highlight program. Um, and our philosophy when it comes to programming is that all of our programs are planned by the students for the students. So every year our programming looks different on each campuses. However, they're all programming under what we call our five pillars. So we do programs around Jewish living and learning, Jewish culture, Israel education, social action or SADC, and then leadership development. So you'll find programs amongst those five pillars. Wonderful. Um, and my final question is, what do you love most about leading the Jewish community on these five campuses that you've mentioned um, so far? I think five campuses, I've already yes. lost track. But yeah, <laughs> on the campuses that you work with, what do you love most about leading them, the students? Um, I mean, I, I love working with my students so much. They all bring in such unique perspectives, especially going from campus to campus, right? Like each campus has their own culture, being able to learn about it more through them has been so special. And also the way that each community wants, like how they all envision their Jewish community on their campus and being able to support them in that is so special. And I really feel so honored to work with all of them. Um, but yeah, really just the unique, the uniqueness of each awesome. community. So Wonderful. Special. Wonderful. Well, that wraps up the questions that I have for this part of the schools that you've been able to represent. This has been very really wonderful. Thank you so much. And we will be able to provide families and students who are interested in learning more about these campuses, information about how to connect um, both uh, with your um, office so that they can learn more um, and learn how they can connect with the Jewish life on, in the future. So thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dana. Awesome.